Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to take a look at your week ahead reading, see what the energies, what messages are playing out here for you. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. And if you'd like to get a personal text reading, there's a link below where you can book that. All right, so Virgo, you're starting off with a love call. Okay, so this energy is going to play out um, from the time you're listening to this through June 23rd. So someone calls, expresses their love, sends a message of love through a text, thinking of you, letting you know. Okay. And you also have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. Okay. And, oh, and photograph. I swear I shuffled these cards. It must be a continuation. Someone's looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. Seriously. Wasn't this like last week? What in the actual? <laughs> okay. It's a continuation, I guess. So you'll be hearing from someone or you'll be reaching out. Um, definitely some type of messages coming through um, in connection. Also, maybe sending, receiving photos, pictures, keepsakes. <clears throat> Let's take a look and see. What else is showing up here for you this week, Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What else can you tell Virgo coming forward this week? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so there's an energy of anxiety, stress, some mental conflict. Someone's going through some kind of mental conflict and stress this week. Perhaps thinking or, hmm, surprise. Somebody thinks that you... Maybe they're looking at your pictures, um, reaching out because uh, they don't think that you um, are interested in them or that you're undecided about connecting. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense here, Virgo. All right, let's take a look. Wow. All right, Nine of Cups. So somebody wants to indulge in you, definitely, um, or is wishing and hoping that you haven't walked away or that you haven't abandoned them. Hmm. A lot of cup energy. So there's a lot of emotions. Um, so you might have somebody checking in to see if you're gone or if you've left or if you're not interested. <clears throat> Someone's definitely being reminded of you. They're really stressing. Um, a phone call, message. They're missing you, thinking about you thinking about old memories you guys made past memories okay um uh, i feel like someone here is also thinking that maybe you uh, uh, they might be feeling not thinking feeling that maybe you're just gone temporarily but they're really stressing about this really Oh, justice is here. Okay. They want the truth, Virgo. Like, where are you at? Definitely want a reconciliation. Or if you've gone back to somebody else. If you've gone back to someone from your past. Or if you're reconnecting or reconciling with someone. Maybe someone where there was a divorce or a separation. Hmm. Somebody's definitely stressing. Yeah. They want new communication with you. They want to initiate. They're going to initiate. We just want to overcome some kind of obstacles you guys might be having. Or at least they think that you're having. Um, yeah, this person's like, will really regret or just be sad if they don't talk to you or if you don't talk to them. They definitely want some clarity about what is going on. Like, where are you? I feel like somebody here is waiting to hear from you, Virgo. Or just like looking off into the distance, wondering what you're doing. What's going on? Yeah. They might, you know, like I said, reach out to you. Try to get some information or just hoping that you're going to um, respond or accept. I'm just hearing a collect call. <laughs> they just said a collect call. Will you accept a collect call from this person? So somebody must be, do people do that still? I don't know. Unless I guess they're in prison or something. <laughs> Except a, a collect call. All right. So let's see what else is going on here. What are you doing, Virgo? What's going on with you? Okay. 
obviously just kind of being in your best self right now focusing on your abundance hmm maybe being a little bit of a heartbreaker feeling like somebody broke your heart and not wanting to connect look at that you got the lovers you definitely love someone here but maybe there was an argument and you're not talking to this person maybe there was a third party interference you're just kind of like sitting here with this king of pentacles being looking at your money focusing on your work wow look at this maybe you're deciding to go maybe you just some of you might be making a decision that there's a love relationship here that's not working out and you just want to be friends or that's all you can really give or maybe thinking that this person doesn't want a deep connection they just want a friendly connection or something very kind of maybe friends with benefits or casual this week though i do feel like you're you might even be starting i've already started it this week where you're just like focusing on yourself here your beauty your aesthetic your abundance your all your new beginnings um taking i just heard taking some bricks that were thrown at you and building a castle okay but i don't see that i mean on your end you do have a heartbreak here but on, on their end i feel like this other person doesn't understand what's going on um or they don't understand how you're feeling or what you're thinking all right so what does this person want yeah they want to they love you they want to like <laughs> excuse me what the heck kind of reaction was that some kind of like you're gonna be surprised this person's gonna come in with some type of um romantic love offer or proposal reciprocity and sharing communication yeah you're gonna get a love call from somebody here it could be another earth sign um they could be sun moon rising or venus but i do feel like this week they're gonna reach out to you this person has like a a thing for you like a crush of some sort um they just want to kind of blow your mind they think why is it why are they doing this okay Freeing themselves from deception or lies or um, taking a leap of faith. They've been in the dark. Yeah, look. I mean, I feel like this person wants a long-term kind of thing. Growth, the opportunity for something new with you here. So, you know, Did you, um, I don't know if like, did you walk away or are you walking away or are you making a decision that you just, you're cutting off the connection? Do you feel like this person doesn't want anything more with you? There's definitely um, a lack of communication or a lack of understanding, okay? maybe well it's more so because there's a lack of communication like if there if there was communication then it would be you'd be able to understand each other but i feel like this week either the, there's an argument that happens or a breakup or a separation and i feel like this person does not really understand what's going on or they just don't want to have this they're going to come in though and try to i don't know be romantic or offer something to you could even propose if, if it's that type of a relationship and get into something just reach out wow you've got new love a new love or recommitment to love developing um past life love there's a recognition your soul remembers this intense connection okay and here's the passion try something you've never done before so somebody's get, definitely going to take a leap of faith here with you this week virgo yeah doing something radical releasing and making like a radical move this is something that i feel like a love call that comes in is just expressing how they feel asking if you want to get together have a romantic 
uh, day out or evening out, possibly even leading to proposal um, or commitment. It's just a love, a, a beautiful love offer coming in. This is faded, destined partnership here with you and this person. And again, with the second chance, relationship deserves a second chance. So hmm, you might feel that way. They feel that way. Can we try again? Maybe get back on the right footing not lose each other this person definitely does not want to lose you if you end something or you break something off because they're not committing or just aren't taking the relationship seriously i think that they will take it seriously here and now your true love is already a part of your life you might feel like you're both on different pages or want different things but I feel like a lot of this has to do with there being a lack of communication. This person is secretly longing, yearning for you. Hmm. Yeah, they do want you. There is a soulmate here and a decision that they're going to decide about this relationship with you. So, you know, Virgo, I guess it's a little bit complicated um, or it's very simple. Some of you are just at that place where you just feel like it's not going anywhere or you want more than what it is and it looks like this week you're gonna just be like nah i don't think this is i don't think we're on different pages i don't think we're going in the same direction but i feel like if you do that this person's going to try to recover the relationship so that there isn't a separation here um, because I feel like they do want something more with you. There's just this communication breakdown. Let's see what the Chinese sign here is. You and your person. Year of the rooster. Year of the monkey. Year of the rat. Year of the pig. Year of the ox. Year of the horse. Year of the rabbit. Year of the snake. Okay. Now, if those, if your person or your sign doesn't show up here, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, I always try to tell you guys that the message is still the same. All right, I know. Do I sound like I'm sad? I'm not sad. <laughs> All right, I just want to get a couple of cosmic insight messages here for you guys. What other messages does Virgo need to know? Okay, challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. Very significant this week caution finding out find out more information you're being advised don't overwork yourself maybe into a frenzy when i look at the overwork i mean that's such a virgo trait but for virgos don't overthink don't overthink yourself into a frenzy find out more information before you do anything okay for some of you this does involve a fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay some of you yeah there's a moving on some of you might are well i like i said i feel like some of you are like you know this person's unavailable for a relationship with me it's a waste of time i'm not gonna give more that could be your thought process it's over some of you are just walking out the door moving on you know you got a lot here going on but then here's the commitment it's gonna get serious sometimes sometimes i think if you feel like don't hang on to your hope about a relationship if someone's giving you signs that they don't want anything more than that even if they don't tell you or you're having a hard time interpreting what they're saying um because you'll be spinning your wheels like in in mud you'll get yourself stuck okay sometimes you really do need to just be willing to leave um, if you're in a situation with someone where you feel you've exhausted all your resources and this person just <clears throat> doesn't want the same thing, you could ask them, but sometimes people are not clear. Sometimes people change their mind. You just got to know and like pretty much ask yourself, am I getting my needs met in this relationship? You know, um, and if you're not, you know, do what's best for you it's self-respect some of you got a vacation you'll be traveling soon so that's cool where are you going if you're if you're going anywhere or you're traveling anywhere 
soon leave a comment in the in the um in the in the in the, in the comments below <laughs> can't talk today leave a comment in the comments below where are you going are you going anywhere special what do you got going on all right now for some of you there's also and this involves an air sign gemini libra or aquarius and the other message here is give it time everything in divine timing let things flow sometimes i guess the message here i just feel like it's really just about releasing taking your hands off the wheel and just allowing things to evolve some of you just need to open up your heart to help you attract more love i mean maybe to somebody new if you feel like this isn't working for you but like i said i do feel like somebody's going to come forward and meet that need that you have um but i do oh okay that's interesting so here's narcissist in the reverse mm. so in the upright this would be uh someone who's too full of themselves but in the reverse this is like complete opposite of a narcissist so maybe you were wondering if your person is a narcissist uh, i don't feel like they are here um they might have problems with addiction or gambling or bad finances uh liar in reverse so i don't feel like this person is lying okay so that's interesting but you know you have to be the final judge about your relationship and what's going on with you and your person you have to go by you know obviously how you feel and what will work for you so okay let's move on i know it's a little bit quick but it's freaking monday all right i made the camera a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit better okay so we have a libra pisces cancer libra pisces and cancer double pisces here okay so so we have the 14th the 27th we have 74 could be born in 74 or you could be 74 we have 49 66 oh and 62 september 6th 68 80 um nope 58 51 89 hmm. september 9th 31st 44 or 31 oh 44 someone's okay ages 41 to 44 uh 21 of the 21st 83 82 37 okay all right and september 6th and september 11th all right let's take a look at we have the month of june very significant which is now <laughs> all right uh tarzan i just heard like i didn't see it i just heard the word tarzan all right somebody's on their pc like desktop computer okay um all right so we have the letter c the letter p somebody's a police officer for uh in california okay um timmy i just heard timmy or timothy okay we have the letter h tahoe i just heard tahoe okay teo somebody's wearing a tie hey happy father's day to all of you dads out there um towel somebody reads the towel yep towel that's definitely what they're saying uh somebody's okay they're saying hoa hoa homeowners association i'm also hearing not safe for work i'm hearing the name nate or natalie okay oh someone's name is han mr han who knows what that's from mr han <laughs> um okay someone's a big fan of you virgo big fan 
Somebody's on OnlyFans. <laughs> Somebody just... Okay, they're giving me the word ton. Ton. That's a ton. It's like a ton of something. Mm, tofu. Somebody likes tofu. Anthony. Picking up Anthony. Hattie. Uh, somebody drives a Pontiac. Pontiac. Or lives in a place called Pontiac. Is that a place? I think it is. Uh, somebody's name is Nan. Nancy. Nan. Nano. A nanosecond. Nan. Nancy. Nano. Um. Oh, somebody's got a really great tan right now. We're working on their tan. <laughs> somebody's in Ireland. Tennessee. Uh, Northern Ontario. Um, PCH. PCH. Is that... PCH? Is that a road or a freeway? PCH. Um, let's see. Font. Something to do with a font. Writing and a font showing up. Okay. Uh, Frank. I just heard Frank. And NATO. Well, pfft. They're in the news every day. NATO. Okay. Let's get some charms and see what your charms are. Okay. Oh, look. Fins. Whale fins. Or a whale tail. Whale tail is very significant for someone <laughs> this week. Let's see if I can pick that up and show you. It's a pretty aqua. So definitely has something to do with the sea. Whale fins. Doing something in the water, swimming, using flippers, fins. The fins are working. The fins are working, I'm hearing. Or maybe you're seeing whales. You might be going somewhere on a, like I said, you had a vacation or some kind of trip going whale watching. Maybe you went or you're going to be going this week. Do some whale watching. Okay, you also have a taffy or a baby rattle. Looks like a little girl. Um, but we also have a, a strawberry cream, kind of taffy. But this is, I think this is a rattle. Yeah, so maybe there's something to do with a little baby or someone's finding out their prego. And yeah, there's some kind of maybe a baby rattle gift is being given, you know, like attached to a baby shower present. Uh, definitely something to do. I'm picking up a pregnancy. Somebody's getting some serious storms, snowstorm, or a winter warning this week. Get snowflakes here. So um, depending on where you live in the world, you might still be in an area where you're getting snow. So yeah, there's going to be snow this week or a winter storm or a blizzard somewhere. Now, if you happen to be in the tropics and it happens to you, please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I'm not really predicting some kind of strange anomaly, um, but hey, you never know. I just do feel like there's going to be some kind of storm. And you also have a wise old owl. Hold on. Let me try and get that in. There you go. Okay. Somebody's got eyes in the back of their head. Yeah, very wise, or just a, you might be a fan of owls, or you like owls. Something here to do with owls. Could be the name of a sports team that you like, or you're watching, or um, maybe you see one, owl watching. But this does have to do with wisdom. So, something here about wisdom. And someone has a very high IQ, I just heard. Um, yes. And then they're giving me some numbers to tell you. 27149, 31621, 
3-7-8-2-4. Okay, not sure what those numbers are, but they just said to tell you those numbers. Um, is there any bonus I can give you guys? Yeah, I just want to add a couple of things here. Towards the end, I just want to add some financial uh, work. Messages. Sit tight, you guys. Sit tight. Couldn't get the deck. <laughs> it was like totally out of reach. Okay, let's see. Any financial messages for Virgo this week that Virgo needs to know? Anything you can tell Virgo about career, money, work, anything like that this week? All right, so you have independence. Okay, your message here, it's time to go out on your own and create your own business or try something well outside of your comfort zone, Virgo. Nice, look at the kitty. Cat's like, don't give a F. Cats don't care. They're very independent. So be like a cat, I guess, this week when uh, exploring some options, independence, self-employment, create your own business or try something new and out of your comfort zone this week. Is there anything else that Virgo needs to hear? Revolving around work, career, business, money. Okay. So you have on the table, time to put your demands on the table and get serious about what you want. Ask for a raise, a promotion, or a step up. Hmm. Put it on the table, Virgo. Put your demands on the table this week. You also have investment. Oh, look. Is that a Bitcoin? What, is, what does this say? Bicentennial? Peer to... I don't know what it says. Peer to peer? Invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. I think that's, I think that's the Bitcoin thing. I'm not sure. Maybe you're going to invest in that. Or you're going to do some more investing if you already do it. it. Looks like this week is a good time to do that this week. Anything else for Virgo? Okay, connections, build bridges between people, contact those who can help you. Your actions set you up for the next opportunity. Wow, build some bridges. Don't burn bridges this week, Virgo. Keep your options open when it comes to your opportunities. Don't cut people off. You never know who could help you out. And you have the future. Plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. Nice. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you enjoy that. And I'll be back tomorrow with the rest of your readings. Um, yeah. So don't forget, if you want to get a text reading, I'm doing text readings only this week. I mean, this summer. So click on the link in the description box below. Book your text reading. You can ask five questions. Put it in question form. I don't just do random readings through text. Just put it in question what specifically you want to know. And I'll answer those questions for you and reply almost immediately. And um, yeah, don't forget, if you want to join my channel, become a member of my channel. Uh, it's $2.99 per month. All you have to do is click on the join button here on my channel, and that will take you right over to where you can um, make your payment, $2.99 per month. You will also get um, really cool um, uh, emojis. You get little emojis if you join, and you'll get a really cool badge, and you will get to... Um, use no never mind <laughs> you get to join in the chat everybody will see that you are like super super important which you already are <laughs> Virgo but hold on I just want to see if anybody joined if you have recently joined let's I want to give you a shout out I don't think anybody has recently joined I can't even remember how to get to my thing <laughs> here i think i'm like losing my mind um 
if you've recently joined i just want to say welcome to you guys hold on i'm just talking to doc let me just find it here we go here we go thanks for all the subscription or everybody who's been subscribing i super super appreciate it. oh okay glenda algorin welcome leslie mayfield welcome back yes eve is a new member welcome eve you guys want to pop in the chat and say hello also everybody you guys last week you all gifted memberships to everyone here uh, who is in the chat and member of the channel so the way gifted memberships if you are a member if you've paid and you're a monthly member of my channel you can gift memberships to other subscribers to other people who have not joined yet it's like you can gift as many as you like. They're randomly chosen. It's kind of a newish feature that YouTube has out. It's randomly chosen. So you, if you're gifting to someone, you can't specify who you want. And if you've received a gift, YouTube randomly chooses who it goes to. So I just want to thank all of you who gifted the memberships. I think there was like two or three of you last week. Super awesome. Thank you so much. Most people who get received gifted memberships are the ones who are in the chat and active on the chat mo like highest right so if you're here once in a while you're unlikely to be gifted a membership but you um if you if you pop in the chat all the time or you're always on the channel you're the higher your activity the more you'll get gifted more chances you'll get gifted so welcome everyone i guess you guys are the ones who were um the rejoined <laughs> either way glad to have you glad to see you all let me just see if there was anyone who actually joined who wasn't gifted um but you know what i'm going to call you out anyway glenda leslie mayfield eve stephanie r melly sean varner sarah stacy keck one i dream too much daddy riddle Jason Bossert, Bossert, Persephone, Sandra M, Bella B, Christina XO, Orest, Fourth Horseman, Nasima Ben Belada, and I cannot see uh, the rest of your name there because the screen's not that big. Maybe I can make it bigger. Uh, no, it doesn't make it bigger. Rebel with a Cause, AG. F002, Charities, Low Carb Life, Jocelyn Wilkinson, Dorothy Kirby, Brenda Gaddy. Welcome, everybody. I'm so happy that you're here. Thanks for joining. All right. I've rambled on. I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. All right. Thank you.